Wow, hồi tuần trước thì uh, phóng viên Kirlin đã có mặt ở trên thành phố Hollywood ngồi xuống thưa quý vị phỏng vấn một nữ diễn viên rất là hay, rất là đẹp, rất là dễ thương, rất là ngầu mặc dù thì bây giờ cô là 49 tuổi nhưng mà cô không nhìn 49 tuổi cả, uh, một tí nào cả đó là nữ tài tử Salma Hayek về cuốn phim hoạt hình mới nhất mang tên Khalil Gibran's The Prophet thưa quý vị Khalil Gibran là tên của tác giả của uh, cốt truyện nổi tiếng này với phim là The Prophet và Kirlin đã ngồi xuống phỏng vấn nữ tài tử Samai Hayat về cuốn phim mới nhất của cô và uh, Kira cũng có chia sẻ với tôi Uyên rằng là giữa đoạn phỏng vấn thì tự nhiên có một số nhân viên ngồi trong phòng thâu quay cái cuộc phỏng vấn thì cái điện thoại họ đã kêu và sau đó thì Sama nói là sao những người này lại không có professional rồi cũng đang ngồi nói chuyện trả lời về cái cuộc phỏng vấn với Kirlin thì cái, tự nhiên cái điện thoại của Sama cũng kêu nên cô phải xin lỗi những người chung quanh nhưng mà tôi được biết rằng là ngoài đời thì Sama rất là dễ thương và rất là tự nhiên và rất là là làm việc uh, là chăm chỉ. Sau đây chúng ta xin được gửi đến quý vị cuộc phỏng vấn của Kirlin với uh, nữ tài tử Sama Hayek về Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. I have the lovely Sama Hayek here. You not only voice a character in this animated feature, but you also are a producer on this film. What made you decide to take on a more active role? The first role I have in this film is the producing role. I didn't even know what was going to be the script so or that there would be a part for me. Um, but I was passionate to make these uh, words of Khalil Gibran come to life because it's a, it's a book that has sold more than 120 million copies around the world. It was written by an Arab man, Arab-American, and it has united all religions and all creeds and different generations. And uh, I think that the reason is because his, his poetry and his philosophy, when you hear it, It doesn't sound like something foreign, but it sounds like something that you already knew. And I think that is your instinct, recognizing truth. You know, when you hear something that totally makes sense, and maybe you hadn't thought about it, but you already knew it, I think that's when we find the truth. And the, the poetry is about the simple things of life that unites the world love, appreciation for everything in life, food, uh, marriage, uh, good and evil, uh, not to jump into judging, uh, equality between men and women, our children who are the children of life itself. And these are concepts that everybody can understand. And I think that There is a thirst for it, and we get so busy surviving that we have very little time to connect with that place where your instinct instincts live, that it's inside of you, and we get anxiety because we are not enough in that place. And I think this movie does that for children as well as for adults. Well, you've had a wonderful career in Hollywood, and now you're a mother. Would you say, you know, being a mom, does that take an active part in what projects you currently take on in your career? Yes, sometimes, a lot of times, yes, especially f with the schedule. But sometimes we have to remember that we are our own person. We are not just moms. And sometimes you have to make choices that are for you, for your involvement as a professional or as a human being, and you have to teach your kids especially if they're daughters, to, to respect that and to respect you as an individual, not just as a mother, because they think that's all you are. And it's important that they know that you are a mother and that they're your priority, but that there's more to you than that. And this project definitely, the inspiration of my daughter and everybody's daughter and everybody's son and the new generations and how there is no content that is inspiring and up uplifting for them um, that involves, uses art as a vehicle mm -hmm. because it has the beautiful, amazing drawings 
um, the, the that it's like nothing you've ever seen. It it has the music, which is amazing. It has the poetry, and the the magic of storytelling through f cinema. And I think that using this vehicle, you get them, you provoke them to think deeper. And this is important. Everything they're getting now, the new generations, is, is pre-digested and with an agenda to, to turn them into consumers. Mm -hmm. They are programmed to become consumers. And this is a film about freedom. There is uh, an experience of freedom when you watch it, not just the concept, because we surprise you so many times with the different kinds of animation that you are free to go in places that you were not expected. So you, you have this experience. And also for you to do with that experience something that is personal. Well, I want to let you know that I actually brought my five-year-old daughter to see this. And when we walked out of the screening room, she had said, Mom, I'd like to watch this movie again. So I think it, the story and everything. And did you think when you were watching it that she was going to react like that? I had no idea. No. I mean, she's been brought up in a, you know, a, a day of, it's a Disney age, you know? Of and course. That's the surprise. We need to take them because that's not everywhere, all the publicity, but when they come out, they might not come out dancing and singing. They're gonna come out curious about life in a different way and thinking, and they're gonna talk to you. Usually they come out, they don't wanna talk to you. Or they're, they just talk, but they don't engage you. They're just telling you what they saw. This is actually a film that creates a connection with the whole family. If you take your mom, you will have the same experience. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for taking your daughter. Thank you, Ms. Salma Hyatt và Carolyn. Đó là cuộc phỏng vấn đặc biệt mà phóng viên Carolyn đã ngồi xuống phỏng vấn nữ tài tử Salma Hyatt về cuốn phim mới nhất của cô chính thức phát hành vào cuối tuần này. Đó là Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. That's it. Đến đây chúng tôi xin trân trọng kính chào tạm biệt tất cả quý vị và xin được kết thúc chương trình với một đoạn phim Cop Car của Kevin Bacon cũng sẽ bắt đầu trình chiếu vào cuối tuần này. Và xin hẹn gặp lại quý vị vào chương trình kỳ tới. Boys, I know you can hear me. You are in a whole lot of trouble. What we're looking at is a felony offense. Did you open up the trunk? Are you a bad guy, Sheriff? I know where to find you. Are you okay? You don't steal a cop car.